A Geeks, Tim Tibbets here with MajorGeeks.com today discussing how to allow or deny website notifications in Google Chrome. You see these pop up all the time. We actually have it ourselves on Major Geeks right now. We haven't used it, but typically they're used to maybe pop up a notification to let you know about a popular article or a download on Major Geeks, for example. I can't speak for anybody else. That's all we plan to use it for. So you could accidentally quickly hit allow or block by mistake and change your mind later. So if you're on the website, let's say I'm on Major Geeks, obviously, and I know I've already clicked the answer and I want to change my mind, I'm going to click this lock icon right here. Once that comes up, I'm a little screwed up here, so we're going to stick with showing you how it works with a screenshot down below because my graphics are screwing up, but it is right here. And you can see right here how it should look. And you can click the drop down and that will allow you to ask, which is your default, or allow or deny. Pretty easy to do. Once you do that, just close this or go about your business. Once you've changed the drop down, you can just do whatever you want to do. More importantly, an easier way to do this, if, especially if you're watching this video, odds are you've allowed or denied access to more than one website. So we're going to highlight this right here. So hold your mouse down, slide across, right click, copy. And then you want to open a new tab with a plus right here and then use right click to paste or I like keyboard shortcuts control V so press your keyboard control V and then go ahead and press enter that's gonna jump you right to where you need to be I don't have a lot of websites in here but enough to show you how it works you're gonna look for the three dots here they call that a we call it at least a hamburger icon I love hamburgers once you click on that you can allow edit or remove so let's say the one website I have here I have it under block I've changed my mind I want to allow it I just click allow if you remove it it's basically the same as it's going to ask you again so keep that in mind removing isn't really doing you any favors as far as edit goes there's nothing in there for you to even mess with so you're basically looking at allow or remove so once you allow you change your mind removing is basically pointless because you've already have it under block let's look at allow exactly the same thing I've got major geeks I've allowed major geeks so if I click the hamburger icon again it's very similar you can click on remove edit which is pointless or change your mind and move it to block so let's go ahead and do that just to show you let's move them to block so now major geeks is up on block I've changed my mind I'm gonna click the hamburger icon and I'm going to click allow that's pretty much all you're gonna do either allow or remove of course now let's say you don't go to major geeks or digital trends anymore if you remove it it's really not gonna help anything for you but if it's a website you don't go to anymore you can just remove it that's up to you no big deal easy enough to do and again just keep in mind as you scroll along and going about your daily business and there's little windows pop up you don't need to go in and manage everything just deal with it when you're there go ahead and click on the lock whenever you're there and manage it as you go whatever's good for you there you have it Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.